and save me by going to Sydney. So we're in the car, we're going to the doctors to see if I can grow too and see if I have to take growth hormones. Sabre went there to see about how she was growing and that, but I actually went there too to see if I would have the same thing as Sabre. And to find out if I had the same thing as Sabre, I had to get a blood test. So, yeah, we, sh we should start off just having a look at things. Uh -huh. so, just single blood test. The next in line you get the blood test. I'm just really worried. You're gonna be okay. Hmm. I want mommy. I like, I love you, but it's... How you going, Sox? Yeah, I'm okay now. Oh my god. Don't ever put me in that situation again. And um, I'm going there tomorrow. To get the results for the blood test. So I thought I need to cook myself a really nice breakfast so I can eat in the car. So we're making... Banana-oat-muffins! And since we didn't have any ripe bananas, I'm right now browning them to make them ripe. 80 grams of coconut oil. <laughs> One gram. Now you're just gonna wanna melt your coconut oil. You could probably do that in the microwave. I don't have a microwave in this house. We've got a separate bowl and we're gonna have to get ready the dry ingredients for these banana muffins. What do you think? Do you think when I go to the um, doctors in Sydney tomorrow to see um, if I uh, have the same thing to say, but do you think I'll have to get another blood test? Because we're also filming a clip about Norris that's clip for it, so you're going to find out. And I'm going to find out. 310 grams of flour. I just made a big mess. It's time for some oats. And these banana muffins are actually really, really healthy, so your mum will probably let you make this. We got the oats. And I love how I'm getting very cooking that I can now multitask. I can do this while doing that. 60 grams of rolled oats. Okay, that's my weird season. Oh, she, oh, she's breaking in. One teaspoon bicarbonate soda. One teaspoon baking powder. One teaspoon of cinnamon. And that's all our dry ingredients. Excuse me while I clean up all the mess that the bowl made. Not me. Now you want to give it a quick mix. Bring the bananas. And if you want to brown your bananas too, like I did in the oven, literally just put them on a baking tray with baking paper, turn the oven on high, flip them over. You got brown bananas. Use the bowl that you've already had coconut oil into, so that means you're doing less dishes. Place your right bananas into your bowl of coconut oil. Just smash them up. It's actually really hard to do in the coconut oil, and probably was worth using a different bowl, but less dishes. And even though us Norris nuts do hate, 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 hate bananas for breakfast, I don't know why, but they taste really good in muffins. Get the blender out just to make things like super smooth. One egg. You can see I tried to do a one handed egg crack and then um, back down. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is how you see me. This is how I see you. One teaspoon vanilla, but we can never have too much vanilla. Then I went a bit crazy then. Honey. <gasps> Whisk all of your wet ingredients up. Your wet ingredients should look something like this, pretty thick. Now wet and dry. Now let's combine. Ooh. Now we're gonna fold it all together. Hopefully these banana muffins taste really good tomorrow. Cause I'm probably gonna be needing it since I'm gonna get some news that we'll film for Norris Nuts Clips. I wonder what's gonna be. Now that everything's mixed together, it's time to bake these in the oven at 180 C. The banana muffins are in the oven now. They're baking, and guess what I'm gonna do now? Set up our lunch boxes. We're right, putting the water bottles in here, and we're putting these in the fridge tonight. So then, say we can just wake up and grab them. All set. I'm making like a full breakfast. Oh, your phone. That tastes a little bland, but they are healthy, so I guess it's what you expect them. And I think they'll cheer me up when um, I'm driving to Sydney, and hopefully I don't have to get another blood test or a needle or anything to do with anything that involves pointy. Catch me now. <laughs> 